I'm so excited. Reagan's birthday party is tomorrow and I have been waiting for this day. This video is all about setting up, decorating, and DIYing because I am going to be using my Cricut. Shout out to Cricut for sponsoring this video. Of course, I'm breaking out my Cricut to add a nice little touch on some of the party favors, on our outfits, on anything that I can Cricut. I'm gonna be Cricuting. Okay, so let's brain dump. Reagan said that she wanted to have a surprise sleepover party. She definitely wants it to be a sleepover, but she also wants to be surprised. So this is going to be interesting, but I think I've got it. She didn't give me too much detail on how she specifically wanted it, but she did say she wanted it to be the colors pink and white, and she wanted it to have a dreamy feel to it. So the theme is I Dream of Reagan, similar to an On Cloud 9 theme. So since she gave me creative control, let me show you guys some of the inspo pics and what I'm thinking about going for. So I've been seeing these sleepovers all over TikTok where they have these TP tents that the kids will sleep in and I think that it's so freaking cute. So these are some of the inspo pics that I feel really fit the vibe. Pink, white, dreamy, they have the clouds, the stars, you name it. I also really like the more clean aesthetic with the white while also adding in the pink for a girly, dainty look with the balloons and the pillows and the rugs. So these pictures really embody what I'm trying to go for. So here's a sketch that I did on my iPad of what I'm envisioning for the party that includes different elements from the inspo pics. So there are gonna be six girls at the party. So I have six TP tents and I think I wanna go with white for the tents. I kinda wanna do pink pillows with some decorative pillows, a big pink fluffy area rug in the middle that has a sign that says happy birthday Reagan on it. I want to do a lot of balloons and get an LED sign that says happy birthday. I wanna add some garland in there, maybe some string lights. Um, and for more seating, I want to get some inflatable chairs and this ottoman that I seen from Five Below. And to make the birthday girl's TP stand out, I want to fill it with all of her birthday gifts. And I also want to give each girl a tray that will have all of their things on it. So I'm thinking their throw blankets, their goodie bags, maybe some lanterns, easels, because I want to do a cute little sip and paint sicho. Their pajamas, slippers, sleep masks, tumblers, the confetti that I made with my Cricut, and some nail polish. I also want to do a dessert table, and I saw this picture where they used cotton to represent the clouds, and then they had stars on it, so it was really cute. So I'm thinking about doing that and putting the cotton, the stars, the cake, and of course the treats on it. So yeah, this is kind of what I'm going for, so let's see if I can bring the dreamy vibe that Reagan wants to life. So the sleepover is going to be out here in the living room, so we got to make space. set up the tents. So these tents are super easy to put together. So I'm just connecting the wood like so. Okay, and the blow up mattress. Oh, this ain't gonna work. Oh, this gonna be a problem. Hmm, you know what? I'm gonna have to curb these more than I thought I was gonna have to. We gonna have to figure out the spacing issue because where the blow up match is gonna go right here. Update, I need to fix these sheets. I need to make them look like something. I need to steam them. But like, I don't want to. I just want to add the pillows and add all of the cute stuff. I don't feel like doing what I actually need to do. But it is coming along rather nicely. If I do say so myself, we still have so much to do. Like we're gonna add balloons here, balloons there, garland, pillows. I think it's coming along nicely. Should I steam the sheets? Mm, we'll see. So I just got done steaming the sheets or like attempting to steam the sheets. I'm tired, that took like an hour and I did a half A job on it, okay? I didn't, I didn't do a great job. Now I'm about to add the pillows. Oh my gosh, it's coming together. We have D 
different color pink ones, we have some cloud ones, white ones. So I got this tray and we got the pajamas. Everybody's gonna have pajamas with their names on it. And then on the tray, putting some slippers, Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. These are gonna double as like their goodie bags, but they're like really cute, right? It gives sleepover. So then we got the headband. That is so cute. And we got a sleep mask, polish, and a tumbler. And I'm gonna put their names on it. So let's go ahead and do that. I brought out my Cricut machine. I had the Cricut Explore 3 and I freaking love the smart cutting machine. It makes it so easy to create different projects and I always get excited to use it. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is how I put the girls' names onto their tumblers using this permanent heat activated color changing vinyl. So it can change from dark to light pink. So I thought this would be really cool to use for their cups. So with your Cricut machine, you can use the Design Space software for free, or you can pay for a subscription to be able to get access to more features. So I start by choosing a font. I chose the DTC Lemonade script because I thought it was really cute. I just sized it to my liking and then I hit make it. Then I selected on mat. I decided to use my mat for this project because the Smart Grip mat helps to keep the material in place. And then I chose Smart Vinyl Permanent because that is the type of material that I used. After that, it's time to load up your Cricut machine with the material that you're gonna be using and let your Cricut go from there. After the Cricut machine cut out my design, I just removed the vinyl and used my weeding tool to also help with that. And then I was ready to apply the transfer tape and then transfer my daughter's name onto her cup. I also did the same exact process to put the girls' names onto their bags and they just turned out so stinking cute. I'm obsessed. I briefly interrupt this Cricut sponsorship to show you guys the balloons that my sister put up. They look so cute. And y'all, I had to pick up with the Cricut projects the next day because I was beyond tired. I am so tired. I've been at this literally since like seven this morning and it's looking great, but it's also a mess in here. I also really wanted to make some custom confetti and this was actually my first time using my Cricut to do that, but it was so easy. The only difference was the type of material that I used. I ended up using the cardstock for intricate cuts. So I searched through the design space and looked through the different images to see, you know, what I really wanted to make. I ended up making a bunch of different confetti because I was having a little too much fun with my Cricut. I made stars, clouds, moons. I made her name out of confetti, the number 12. So yeah, I went a little crazy, but it turned out so, so, so good. I definitely could have just bought confetti, but I really liked the personalized touch that I was able to put on it by making it myself.
the Cricut made this birthday party so easy to customize and put my own personal spin on the decor. So like I've showed you guys, I put the girls' names on their tumblers, I put their names on their bags, all of us had on matching pajamas at the party, stay tuned for the official birthday party vlog, but our names were on our pajamas and I made the custom confetti, so I put my Cricut machine to good use. If you are into DIYing and you don't have a Cricut machine, I'd highly suggest that you purchase it. It is definitely worth the investment. I've used my Cricut machine so many times for so many different things. And honestly, the possibilities are endless with what you can create and design with your Cricut machine. Click the link in my description box to check out Cricut and see the different machines that they have for your different crafty needs. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. It is party day. I was up till about a little after midnight. So if I look tired, it's because I am. I am exhausted, but I am beyond excited for Reagan to just see her party. I've been wanting to call her and like show her, but it is a surprise. And I think that this turned out better than I even imagined, better then my little sketch on my ipad it, it <sighs> my sister's over here she was helping me out a ton so we got a lot of it done i'm gonna show you guys i was just steaming the tablecloth and i was doing some more cricket stuff so yeah today i just need to clean up again and do the table display i think those are my main things Alexa, what time is it? The time is 10 46 a.m. Okay, it's 10 46 a.m. I did do a little something something to the cake. Check my TikTok if you want to see what I did. I want everybody to arrive around 4 o'clock and then I want to have Reagan come out and see everything. So, yeah, I have a few hours to just finish up. I don't have too, too much to do. I'm so glad I didn't do this all in one day because that would have been impossible. So yeah, I am so pleased with how everything is coming together. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm about to do to the table. It's the details for me. It's all of the details for me. Shout out to her aunt on the treats. Shout out to her other aunt on the balloons. Just, ah! Everything just looks so freaking good. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, ah! I'm excited! I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna, I just wanna clap, clap, turn around, turn around, dance. 